good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. It's that time of week again. Um, time to record a new video for Trading Institutional Order Flow, our, um, our thread on Forex Factory. Um, thank you to all of you um, who have come out of the shadows and are posting and, and um, keeping the thread alive. Um, we really appreciate the conversations that are going on in there. So thank you all um, to the new members. Um, many of you have been trying to PM me, but there are so many new members. I think a lot of you are still so new that um, trade, uh, Forex Factory won't, won't let you use your private messages yet. So apologies for that. But the more you post, um, you don't need a lot of posts to be able to for them to open up um, those parts of your uh, of your service on Forex Factory. So welcome to all the new members. Um, we really appreciate you. It's it's a thread where um, like-minded traders hang out, um, respectfully chatting with each other and, and building relationships. And you're welcome to, to join us, come out of the shadows. <laughs> okay, so today, now that um, Janet Yellen has yelled and the much-awaited rate hike has happened, I thought it was a good time to just do a, a video. And we'll start with the with the U.S. dollar itself because obviously that's the one that's been affected. Um, I was only going to look at daily charts um, for the day trader today, but I thought let's let's do the usual quick top down on on um, on the U.S. dollar. So this is as I posted in previous videos, we're looking at this sort of range for the dollar index. We now have even with the news um, coming out yesterday and the press conference and all of that, we are still chopping through this supply zone, which has been tested um, several times, but is still yet to be broken. It's still yet to be broken. That's from old teaching session. Let's take that out. So we still have, it's been tested so many times and it's still in there. So if and when we break through this, we now have something right above it and we don't really have anything of quality that's fresh until this area down here. So this is what we're looking at. Um, the trend is obviously up on, on the US dollar. And for the weekly chart, you guys remember that I posted um, that area and I said you could draw it like that. Well, that area has hit already. Um, from a few weeks ago and we're looking at the trend again still being up the momentum is still up with all the news you have clearly you can see that the momentum there is up in terms of a uh, of somebody trading the weekly um, chart looking at longer term oh, that's not what I wanted looking at um, sort of weekly trades Let's take a look above here and see what we have in terms of levels. Okay. Nothing really of quality up until about here and more obviously above here. Um, it's all a bit tested in here. So this area is what the monthly looks like on a weekly view. So you'd have to wait for confirmation entries in the US dollar. And we're looking at the US dollar because it will affect the majors in particular like the euro the pound the aussie um so so keep that in mind now in terms of the the daily chart obviously as well again you'll see the momentum is up the trend is up um everything is looking good because of the value that the federal reserve has put into the u.s dollar now with the rate hike everybody wants their money in dollars and you can see this area not sure if I marked this out in an old video. It was just for the roundtable members. Um, we we've taken that demand zone and it's hit, and it's it's worked for for longs in the euro um, as well. Um, so that's that's the broad picture look. Watch this area now on on the one hour. This is the next area that the the news. You can see the gap up on the on the one hour. You can see the gap up from yesterday's news. I don't know if you all have this gap intraday gap on y on your charts um, but it's showing here on trading view so you this is the next area if it breaks through this area we might be looking at coming further down um, so that's the 60 minute um, demand zone that's that's in the way right now okay so let's 
take a look at the euro as well which would be the counterparty for for the US dollar on the monthly chart you can see we're still all down in here and above we've still got all of this still holding price up so we're pretty much still sideways in terms of fresh levels above and below we have that one below and we have that one above so there's really um, unless you're um, trading the range um, just buying low and selling high type of thing this is not really a market that is is friendly to you uh, other than maybe for short-term trades um, and you can see on the weekly view if I blow this up you can see how sideways we've gone again that sideways movement becomes even clearer and it goes back even to 2015 so and the daily the the um, demand zone at the bottom is even is even more clear so it's all still quite sideways if and when it breaks then we'll take a closer look at it okay so that's the broad picture for the dollar and the euro is counterpart I wanted to quickly review the um, gold trade that I talked about last week um, I don't know if you guys remember this gold trade I think I'd even remove my lines on here but I kept it on and oh here's another opportunity happening right now for gold actually but these were the two levels if you recall from the previous video um, so the final targets were hit um, following the FOMC announcement yesterday so we had these two levels and this was the the short we had took off some of it down in here and I just kept the rest and, and exited down in here as I posted um, yesterday so this was the this was the final exit so that those were the levels and we the the running position was was held till till yesterday um, I was just saying at the moment you have an area here which is not great great so you might want to look down in a in a smaller time frame to look at what price is doing in here so for the heck of it why not let's take a look at the 15s okay so nothing is really happening in here nothing great at all um, I would look higher possibly into this area into that area see if anything happens and you have a little bit more up there if you do make it back that high so definitely keep it on your watch list see if new opportunities come up to short um, in terms of the for those of you who've put your names down um, thank you very much for, for your interest in, in um, attending the webinar it's going to be Sunday night at 8 30 p.m. UK um, you will get an invite on the day um, and you will be able to log in Remember to use the dial up the, the telephone icon on the top left to be able to get audio. Um, so you'll get the invites on Sunday afternoon. Okay, I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday. Take care, everybody. Trade safe. See you all soon. Bye for now.